In 2002, an article appeared on an Arabic internet website that purported to be an interview with a female jinn who had possessed a human being. The article was written by a Mr. Abed al-Razak. The interview is set in Damascus, Syria, and includes a discussion of jinn kingdoms and the phenomenon of jinn possession. The article consists of various conversations between the author and his paternal grandmother, Husna Kanun, which took place, as he put it, when I was quite young. The dialogues were not literally with her grandmother, he says, but rather with the jinn who had possessed her. The spirit had taken possession of her many years before, during the French occupation of Syria in 1920, when the constantly exploding shells had caused her psychological trauma and opened her to jinn possession. The manifestations of the female jinn would come and go, depending on circumstances over the years. At times, Hosna Kanum would seem totally normal, at others the personality of the jinn would take over. The writer's discussions with his possessed grandmother included the following exchanges. What is your real name? Our names are secret and cannot be given. We borrow names similar to your names and we keep them throughout our lifetime. Where is your location in this world? Our location is also secret. Do you have continents and countries as we do? No, but we have many kingdoms, kings, princes and peoples. Can we know the names of some of those kingdoms? We describe our kingdoms in terms of colours to bring them to bring the concept closer to your understanding. So we say the red gin, the blue gin and the yellow gin. But in reality these colours are expressions of differences amongst us. Then you two are veiled from each other as per type or colour. Yes, we are veiled from seeing some among us, and we cannot see other types of jinn from other kingdoms, but there are exceptions, as is the situation now. Husna Kanum, what is your position in your world? I am the daughter of the Red Jinn King, who still reigns over our kingdom. How old are you? 27 years old. Are you married? No, not married, for your grandmother, i.e. the person talking to the writer, doesn't leave me with much free time. She summons me often to come cure people and solve problems arising from jinn. I know you are a Muslim. Do you have other religions? Yes, we have converted to Islam with, along with humans and have entered into this holy religion. We have other religions and we have infidels. We are much like you in this respect. How are you able to enter our world? We see and feel you because your density is higher than ours. This can be exemplified by a staircase whose steps go up from the subtle to the dense. This is as regards the physical formation. The basic structure of humans contain all the steps of the staircase, but your sciences still have still not attained even a minimal knowledge of the real structure of the human being. Till now, we were unable to interact with you in a good way, except through you, i.e. by entering your bodies. Can you explain to me how you enter our bodies? We enter the human body during one of the moments of its life, and at a certain state of it. What do you mean by a certain state? I mean when the soul splits from the body for a period of time, and then we open a loophole through which we can enter. When does the soul split from the body? Many are the states in which the soul splits from the body, other than death, of course, i.e. temporary splitting, such as during dreams that occur in sleep. The hero of this kind of dream is the soul, or the astral body, that goes out and flies away. That means you enter when the human dreams. No, of course not. We can't reach someone through these exiting of the soul. If this were the case, it would be easy to enter all human bodies. Then which state are you talking about? There are many states, quite a lot of them, such as a coma resulting from shock, a fall or a crash, or those that occur due to extreme panic or terror. All such states, in addition to the psychological state of the targeted person, are suitable for entering a person. Are there targeted persons? Yes. Due to our structure, we can see you without being, you being able to see us. By your normal actions, you might cause us harm, either intentionally or not. In this case, the person who caused us harm becomes a target for us, and we watch him closely. And when a certain entrance state occurs, we will take the opportunity and enter him. 
What languages do you speak? We do not have a specific language. We communicate telepathically with each other. But through you, we speak your languages, which we learn through our interaction with you. Can you tell us about your social life? Yes, it's very similar to your life as humans, especially after you humans die. In reality, we don't know anything about the shape of our life after death, except through the philosophies we study. When you die and remove this heavy body garment, you move to a stage which is very similar to us as regards motion, formation and relationship, especially at the lower stages of your non-material existence, when you shall live in a parallel world very similar to your world as regards places and feelings. Your physical, sensory life is but a school in which you learn, taste, hear, smell and see, and you graduate after death to a non-material world, a feelings world. You benefit from your earlier life by acquiring certain experiences that qualify you for the non-material life, and you become capable of certain conceptualizations, through which you live and develop to higher and higher grades. You repeat the experience over and over again. Each time the experiences increase greatly, to reach the final form that promotes you to a higher plane. What I want to say is that you are similar to us in that first stage of the other world. If I ever became like you, what would I see? You would see a transparent, misty life. No matter binds us, no physics or chemistry, but feelings and formations similar to you in appearance, i.e. general appearances. But as to the contents, we differ very much from you. Do you eat and drink? Or what are your energy sources? We do not eat or drink. We are energy by ourselves. Programmed energies subject to higher law, we develop or degrade as per our deeds. We are also subject to the law of divine reward and penalty like you. Our good deeds reflect positively, providing us with the subtlety that promotes us on up the staircase of transcendence, and our evil deeds make us go back towards higher density and keep us within the bottom layers. Why you call the inhabitants of lower order worlds, despite the fact that you, especially the believers among you, have, as I understand it, a composition similar to angels. We have been described by this term, lower order, for an important reason. The reason is not our position in the universe, as some would think, it is because we are below you in density. As I said before, it is a, it is a reverse staircase for us. But for you, the staircase is not reversed, and here lies the secret. Had the staircase been not reversed, the jinn would have been humans in advanced stages, i.e. transcending the material state, thus becoming angels, as you said. Am I to understand that when you develop and are promoted, you go down, or is it the opposite? Not spatially, as you understand it. You humans are very much bound by matter, in addition to time and space. The gist here is that we as jinn and you as humans have free will, the ability to choose good or evil, and this is what distinguishes us both. But each of the two species has its direction, not spatially as you imagine, but mentally. We develop in a certain direction and you develop in an opposite direction. We live in the first stage as neighbours and talk to each other, as if we are undergoing an examination in the same school but each in his own class. And at the end of this test, each of us exits through a separate door. We and you are a basic condition for, that, for the existence of this school. And while we are similar to you at one stage of your transitional stages, this does not mean that we mix with you after evolving. Many times I've heard about or seen human males or females possessed by jinn who go into convulsions and break down psychologically. This leads people to claim that all those who have relations with you are mentally ill, especially in the first stages. Can you explain this? Can you imagine a watermelon entering you through your nostril? What torture that would be. It isn't easy for a foreign body to enter into the structure of another body. The torture affects both parties, the host and the hosted, but in different degrees. The jinn has a different consciousness, mind and environment, etc., and enters the body that is not parallel in structure, and this is what causes the torture and misery, especially in the first stages. Then why do you enter these bodies? For us, these bodies are a window of relief. The jinn who enters a human is fortunate and enjoys beautiful periods of his life, giving much of his time and energies in the service of humans. Why do cases of jinn manifestation or possession occur so frequently, only in our regions, or, to use a better phrase, in underdeveloped societies? Why not in America or Europe, for example? 
there are possession cases all over the world, but their treatment differs from one region to another. In addition, we have a greater presence in certain societies because of the prevailing manner of thinking or the cultural background which provides the right setting for our entrances. As I've said before, we wait for the proper moment. And these are many among you. Also, you enrich the opportunity greatly since your social composition is more suitable. Also, you enrich the opportunity greatly since your social composition is more suitable. And that's the end of the transcript. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below. And um, if you have any interesting research or work about the uh, the gin, by all means, do message me. I'm interested in finding out more about this um, interesting subject. Thank you, and subscribe for some more videos.